Hello fellow investor, welcome to a new video about uh, the Logitech earning report. If you follow this channel, you know that every quarter I make a video analyzing the earning report presentation. We are in November, honestly, the earning report came out 23 of October. It was second quarter uh, fiscal year 2024, so I'm a little bit late. Uh, anyway, the results were quite positive. As you can see right here, the stock have a pretty nice spike uh, on 23 of October, more than 10%. Uh, price increase in just one day so it means the market really liked the news on the earning report let's take a look at the earning presentation these are the slide deck link in the description if you want to take a look by yourself let's move a little bit down there are new products launched by logitech i will not dig into that and let's analyze at first the net sale. Net sale that are negative year over year are minus 8%. This was highly anticipated. I mean, we all knew that Logitech is having a rough time right now after the big increase of revenue that was post COVID. If we take a look here on the financial side, of Logitech. We can take a look at the earnings. Uh, you see that 2021 and 22 was a very good year for Logitech and now things are adjusting a little bit. We can check quarterly and we see that the situation is uh, trending down even if uh, in the last two quarters there was an increase of revenue quarter by quarter, especially revenue and profit. We will see a bit later. What is important in this slide, what is the key message of this earning report that real, the investor really like is the increasing of the gross profit of the margin that passed from 38.6 to 42 percent. This is very good because there was a shrink of margin in the last year and this is what worried the investor a lot. But right now the situation seems to become much better. We will see in another slide a little bit more in detail. Of course, uh, growing the margin, the gross profit margin, it grows also the operating margin and the net margin too. Uh, diluted share decreased because company keep uh, doing the buyback program. So there are less share out, which is good for shareholder like us. It basically needs more dividend for us. Let's go down. These are just the revenue splitted by product category. All negative apart from pointing device and tablet accessories, uh, which at the end turn out to be minus 8%, which is the same 8% right here. So it's just a way to split to understand where there was the biggest decrease, which was uh, basically in gaming because it, this is the main market for uh, Logitech. And after we can also see by geographical region, uh, only Europe and Middle East was able to remain, let's say, flat, while uh, Asia Pacific and Americas have a negative impact of revenue, again, summed up at 9%. This is the slide I was talking about before. This is the devolution of the gross margin. You see that from first quarter 2023, again, this is fiscal year 2023, uh, there was a reduction of gross profit. And now in the last two quarters, there was a very sharp increase. This is what investors like a lot, because at the end, if you have more gross margin, it will end up having more profit and probably a bigger dividend for all of us. Uh, why is that? The reason for the decrease of the margin during the previous year it was related to the fact that the stock have a very high inventory. Because of the high inventory, they need to get rid of this inventory, so they start to sell at discount price. And when you sell at discount price, of course, your margin becomes lower because you need to do a discount. But this is the only way to get rid of inventory. Uh, Logitech create a huge inventory during 2021-2022 uh, because of the COVID, the demand was very high, so they start to produce a lot. And when the customer demand decreased, they found out to have a lot of inventory. So they need to get rid and this uh, end up with a shrink of the margin. But now the situation is a little bit better and the margin can keep growing. 42% is even higher of the margin of uh, beginning of 2023, which is, uh, is an amazing result in my opinion. If we go a little bit down, we see also the operating expenses that are decreased from sales marketing point of view. 
remain quite flat, up just a minus 3% on R&D, research and development. This is very important that the company try to keep a good level of R&D expenses because uh, if you don't do research and development, you cannot create new product, you cannot come up with new technology and stuff like that. So you cannot keep innovating. And I even say here, we continue to prioritize investment in research and development. As you can see by million of dollars it passed from 66 to 64 so there was a decrease but as a percentage of sale it was an increase so i'm happy about that and unfortunately higher administrative cost if we move down this is another slide that is very interesting in all my report i deeply analyzed this slide because this is a the cash conversion cycle. Give you a snapshot of the inventory. You see that inventory passed from 880 million to 533. It was a big decrease, 39 million decreased quarter by quarter, 347 year by year. It's a huge decrease of inventory, as I said before, because they sold at discount, so they got rid of inventory. But what is amazing is the cash conversion cycle that passes from 104 days to 62 days. Cash conversion cycle is a measurement in days from the moment you have the expenses to produce new products, so you pay the supplier to produce the new product, to the moment you receive the money when you sold your goods. Before it was 104 days, now 62, it's a big reduction. And why is important? Company try to have as short as possible because it means you get back your money together with your profit and you are able to invest in new products so you can produce new product and again sell it. If the number is too big, it's a problem for a company, for a retail company, because it means they have a huge inventory. They cannot produce new goods, a new model, because they need first to get rid of the previous one. Otherwise, nobody will buy the previous one. So they will run a discount and stuff like that. It's not a nice moment for a retail company. So seeing that Logitech was able so effectively to cut this uh, cash conversion cycle is another reason why the investors are very happy. At least personally, I am very happy about that. And last slide we will take a look is the outlook uh, for the full year 2024. That was a revision of the outlook, of course, in, in a better way. Before, you can see right here, the previous outlook was a net sale between 3.8 to 4 billion. Now it's from 4 billion to 4 billion 150. A nice increase. The net sale decline, because they are still know that 2024 will be a decline in net sale, but it passed from 16 to 12 to 12 to 9, so a lower decrease. And there is also an increase in operating margin passing from uh, from a gap between 400 500 million to more than 500 even close to 600 million all these news are very positive of course for logitech if we take a look uh, at uh, the stock price right now this is five year stock price we see already that from the middle of 2022 they started price increase because investors have to see the light at the end of the tunnel let's say also price uh, try to anticipate uh, what are the exact result of the company. So uh, I was lucky enough to enter this, this dot right here. You see this when I booked 100 share of Logitech. Uh, average price was a little bit more than $50 per share. We are at 78. So I'm quite happy of how this investment is returning. It's approximately a profit of 61% in capital gain, I mean, I realized capital gain, so I'm pretty happy about that. I'm very bullish about Logitech on the long run. I will not sell it. If you have any comment about this video, about what I said about Logitech numbers, stock information, drop me a comment, I will try to reply. Subscribe to the channel because it helps a lot. And in case of this video, see you next quarter.